Well, one of the delights of coming to the Italian Grand Prix is the wide variety of outstanding restaurants in the vicinity. One team, though, aren't satisfied. They brought in their own master chef. Here's Beverly Turner. The Formula One paddock is a very special place. Mechanics mix with VIPs. The hospitality is second to none. And this weekend, one of the teams is laying on a very special treat, courtesy of a famous oh, face who knows a thing or two about food. Hidden away at the back of the Jordan Motorhome is Mr. Gary Rhodes. Good to see Hi. you. Hi. What are you doing today? Tell us. <sighs> Trying to find more space in this kitchen of mine. That's what I'm doing. You know, you can imagine coming in here and I've got to cook for all these people. But I'm going to do a nice little menu for them this evening. Yeah. We're just going to have a really nice leek and parmesan risotto. And then some chicken with sweet peppers, tomatoes, Swiss cheese, little aubergine, mm. followed by English eaten mess. Fantastic. Not bad. I've got to say, these conditions... They're not great, no, are they? I mean, the thing is, what I'm used to doing is standing here and calling around to a brigade of 15 cooks behind me, you know, and screaming yeah. out, bring me the onions, bring me... And now I'm just getting a reflection, so I <laughs> look around and keep my head down now. But you just have to get on with it, don't you? You're in a situation, I thought, well, how on earth am I going to feed 60 people, you know, from a little kitchen like this? But you just have to get on with it. If you're a chef, get your head down and cook, so... Do you need a hand? I do, there's loads of washing up. <laughs> <laughs> Right, stir that risotto, Jen. Well, I've left Gary slaving away in a hot kitchen and I'm here in the garage now to find out what the team think. Tim, your team manager working very hard here. Do this lot deserve a, a good meal on these weekends? Oh, definitely. I mean, they work very long hours, so it's important they're fed well. Not quite tender enough yet, so a little touch longer and they're going to be lovely. Gary's a huge fan of Formula One, so we thought we'd get him along so that he could... Um, do what he does best, cook for us so we can enjoy his food, but also that he can come and enjoy the Formula One race here in Monza. I think he's going to, he's going to struggle to beat what we normally have. Do you think? I think so. I'm looking forward to it. We'll, uh, we'll see. It's like actually being in the Grand Prix. There we are, you know, and you're in pole position and you're about to take off and you're waiting for those lights to go out. I'm waiting for everybody to come and actually bomb the canteen and say, where is it, Rhodes? Where is it? Gary, you've been in here all day. There's a lot of hungry people out there now. How are you doing? Just about there now. I thought at one point, you know, I was going to get a little bit behind, but here we are. We're ready to go. Just finishing up. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, the hero. Ladies and gentlemen, very sad, a Ferrari fanatic. What? And Britain's number one show, okay, okay. Gary Rhodes. In Italy we say buonissimo, which means uh, it was very, very good. Great. I mean, uh, it's not too rich, obviously. It's um, need for the drop, you know, for the weekend, but this is great. So what better way to start an Italian Grand Prix weekend than with a proper feast? And having been here all day, I think it's only polite that I uh, sample the final product. Thank you.